Hi folks, uh, happy Christmas, hope you have a, a great year, hope you have next year's even better. Um, I just, this is a continuation on from a, a previous video where I clicked on a create a variable to show a pivot table. So I'm just going to go on a, a step further from that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to make any changes to the pivot table, it'll set, it, sorry, the pivot table itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the pivot table and then I'm going to create a new, um, sorry, create a new text object and the text object is going to basically hide what's behind the pivot table so it's going to when we click the button to show the pivot table it's going to show only the pivot table and it's going to hide all the information at the back or make some of it almost transparent so I'm just going to make a selection here. I'm going to change the color to gray I'm going to just click that to make it almost transparent so we've it's We've got a text object here now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag that across, and then I'm gonna go into properties. I'm gonna go into layout. Now I already know that the layout of this button here that closes the pivot and the pivot chart itself. The pivot chart is 10. This is 20. So I'm gonna give this a custom layout of 30. Sorry, of 9. Because we want it under both of those and that drowns out everything else so then what I need to do is I need to go into actions I need to add an action make it external I'm going to set the variable and the variable is um, v show which again from the previous video you should know and if you don't you should check it out so we if the variable is zero we don't want to show it actually and then go into properties again and go into layout and the, it's conditional show and it's v show equals one let's click ok again so if we close now you can see if we close this we can see everything if we click it again we can just see the pivot table and kind of almost um, fully transparent so we can go into properties again of the te text object we just created and make it fully transparent and again we can close that choose show pivot and it will only show us the pivot table on that um, on that sheet so um, it's kind of a, a not too much of a quick trick but uh, it helps it helps kind of show the information you want to show get it out in front and then again show it have a view of it close it again you're back to your normal table so i hope that helps and we'll see you next video cheers thanks